Jon Stewart is back in full effect in roasting MAGA and Republicans alike in his scorching segments that he's been known for over the years, highlighting in an easy to stomach and very hilarious way the issues that exist within the Republican Party, this time focusing on how they like to consider themselves patriots, while tossing aside the core principles that founded this country and the Constitution in the name of what will benefit Trump. And I think he does just an amazing job framing this issue perfectly. Just out of curiosity, uh, what is it about the Republican Party that makes it american than the rest of us? We're the party and ideology of the Constitution. Every decision that I make starts with asking the questions, is this constitutional? I believe in this document, I carry it with me next to my heart because I refer to it daily. As we all know, the Constitution starts with the three most important words outside the Bible. We the people. The power of we the people. We the people. The Constitution. We believe in it. They do not. Okay, I don't know what that last guy was up to, but I do think it's an accurate portrayal. You have to ask yourselves, what do Republicans do for the American people? Cutting taxes for corporations and the wealthy, is that for the American people? Well, no, that cuts revenue and adds inflation. What about rejecting the border bill? Was that for the American people? Well, no, that was a political move directed by and for Trump. Okay, well then banning books, that has to be for the people. Well. It's like 13 people banning books for everyone. So again, no, that's just tyranny of the minority. Well, tyranny of the minority, I hear Vivek say it all the time. So Republicans have to stand for the positions that are more popular along the majority, right? Again, no, the majority believe in the right to abortion, are supportive of LGBTQ, and believe that Biden won 2020 legitimately. So... They in no way represent the people, the majority, or any of the beliefs they say they do, just culture wars that funnel back down to their own best interests. That's why these patriots love Donald Trump, for he alone will restore the rule of law in our constitutional republic. Trump's lawyer claimed the president has a legal license to murder his American political rivals. Check my, hold on. Just gonna check my. I actually keep my heart next to my constitution. And of course, nowhere in the constitution will you find the presidential right to murder your political opponents. Again, showing Trump's only value in the constitution is so much so that he can bend it to his will to get what he wants. I wonder how Republicans view this. When the good patriotic constitution loving real Americans hear Trump's disrespect and disdain for our sacred constitutional principles, they will be outraged. I'd rather have Donald Trump as a dictator for four years. Absolutely, this country needs a dictator. I hate to say that, but it's the truth. He could stand on the front steps of the White House and, and commit murder, and I'm with him. If he says it, then I'll go with it. And if he wants to be a dictator, then so be it. They don't care. It's not about patriotism, being an American, the Constitution. It's about MAGA is my personality or career for elected politicians. And because of that, I will support anything and everything they do. We'll call ourselves patriots and Constitution defenders, but they'll also support Trump saying it needs suspend it for his own gain or, or Trump trying to overthrow democracy to stay in power or, or, or saying that he'll be a dictator if he gets the presidency back. None of these matter. Because true patriotism is Trump country. Just ask Tim Scott. But this is just the nonsensical kind of beliefs that actually exist on the right. It seems like a meme from those of us with logic, but this is actually what motivates these people to vote for MAGA, where they've played the aesthetics, they've played the optics game so well that they don't even need to get anything done. They just play to the buzzwords. And it's no wonder that Republicans typically do better with uneducated rural voters. It's easier to brainwash them into this sort of undying tribalism, even when it's clearly against their own self-interest and beliefs.